All right, so what we're going to do is describe what prevent planning is for crop insurance in this video. Prevent planning payments occur when we can't uh, plant a field and they're available to a farmer or a landowner who purchases three plans within the combo product. And those would be revenue protection, which is what most farmers take, revenue protection with harvest price exclusion and yield protection. The preventive planning payments become available when we reach a final planning date. And that's very key for crop insurance and prevent plant. We need to know that final planning date. Before that, we're supposed to be planting the crop. And after that, we can take the prevent plant payment. The prevent plant payment will be a percentage of the crop revenue guarantee. And those percentages will vary by crop it's 55% for corn, 60% for soybeans. 55% um, of the guarantee will be the prevent plant payment. I give an example here of uh, a policy with an 85% coverage level, 200 bushel APH and a $4 projected price, the price for 2019. That has a $680 guarantee. And if we take 55% of it, we get a prevent plant payment of $374. So that prevent plant payment becomes available when the final plant date comes. Before the final plant date, uh, farmers must plant if they can. After the final plant date, they can do four things. They can take the prevent plant payment, they can plant the crop, or they can plant another crop and or they can wait to and plant another crop after the final plant period. Most people are t looking at options one and two. So we really are gonna focus on options one and two. Again, just to reiterate, before the final plant date, we should be planting. After the final plant date, we have an option. We can plant or we can take the prevent plant payment. That option can be taken during the late planting period and those that is that varies by state but it's 20 days uh, for corn 25 days for soybeans during that period a farmer can plant or they can take a plant payment if they plant the insurance guarantee goes down one percent per day the farmer can still plant after the late planting period but then the guarantee goes down to 60 percent of the guarantee and there isn't an op option to plant another crop for harvest, but then the prevent plant payment, payment goes down 35% of the original amount. So there's the trade-offs. When we have the final plant date reached, we can take the prevent plant payment. It's a known payment and no risk. And another key feature is that will not impact our APH yield, any, any not thing not planted will not enter our history of yield so we don't have the potential for lowering it. If we plant the crop we have the lowering guarantee throughout the growing season that goes down one percent per day. For corn in Illinois by June 25th it'll fall to 60 percent of the original. Again if we plant we have a ch chance of higher return than if we take the prevent plant but we have the chance also of not getting as much as well. And we could lower our APH yield because our yield this year could be lower than we would typically have. So that's the basics of prevent plant, that preventing planting payment becomes available after the final plant date, and it's usually a tough decision. We appreciate you listening to this YouTube video and more information is available on Farm Doc Daily.